On the banks of the River Shannon, Athlone's reputation as a town that has made a contribution to art and culture has stayed afloat for decades on the achievements of singer John McCormack. The world-famous tenor actually performed once in this building, which now forms part of the new Lewin Art Gallery. But this new home for contemporary modern art has been buzzing since its official opening and children from primary schools in the area have also visited to give their professional opinion on the first exhibition on show here from the Irish Museum of Modern Art. is the cactuses because I love how much dedication the artist put in it and how long it took him and they just look all really good. Um, my favourite piece in the exhibition is the lady wearing the blue dress. Um, it's just really fascinating, all the materials there. Um, she brings out expressions and you know, yeah, she just, it's beautiful. I would love to be an artist. My career, I think, is going to be an artist. Courting controversy is nothing new to the arts, and this text-based installation by Longford artist Shane Cullen, reprinting messages from the H-Block hunger strikers of the 1980s, stirred up emotions in Athlone in the very first week. Miriam Mulrennan, the manager of Athlone Art and Heritage, says contemporary art often tends to evoke a response. The Lewin Gallery, its name was arrived at by a public competition. Um, we invited members of the public to submit their names, so obviously with the history of the town and the various mythologies that surround Ah Lewin, out of that came the name the Lewin Gallery. And it's Athlone's new and first municipal contemporary art space and obviously we're really excited about it and we've had a fantastic response to its opening. The first exhibition really was drawn um, from a number of different strands, but it's titled Borrowed Memories. We were very much drawn to artists that um, had a story to tell that you felt you were looking in, maybe from, from within looking out at their, at, at their story, but also being drawn into their story. Um, and yeah, so from that Borrowed memory. So we've got artists like Amanda Coogan who works in performance. We have a still photograph of one of her performances. We have Huey O'Donoghue, the amazing blue crucifixion behind you there. We have the Anne Hamilton, which I think is swinging behind me here. Um, you step into the inside of it. That spoke to us in terms of the idea of centrality, um, Athlone being at the nation's crossroads, that idea of from within looking out. Mm -hmm. 